So we've just uh, literally opened our first finest wine pop-up bar. We opened yesterday on Tuesday and we run through to next Saturday the 13th. Uh, and we've chosen a location in the heart of Soho on Wardour Street, which is an art gallery that we've uh, rented out. Uh, and we're using that as a, what we think is a perfect location uh, to allow customers to come in and actually discover a whole load of wines that they might not know about or might not be aware of. Uh, and therefore experience an opportunity to expand their repertoire. What we know from our research is that customers generally have four or five wines within their personal repertoire and they like to stick within that. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to bring, I guess, the opportunity for customers to come out of the supermarket aisle and really immerse themselves in the product so they get to experience it, taste it and discover it and therefore find something new. It's a really simple reason why we've chosen pop-up really, which is just to get that level of detail and immersion and experience um, with, for, for customers with the product. And it's, it's hard to do that. When you, when you sample, it tends to be quite a quick experience, it tends to be quite immediate. Um, whereas this, you, you know, people are in here for an hour or two, and they're really starting to engage in conversation with experts, and, and then leave feeling that they've learned you know, an awful lot, which is, which is great. The other thing it does is it gives us a really good opportunity to be really proud about the quality of the wines that we've got within our ranges. And the 48 that we've got here um, are really fine examples, or the finest examples, of those styles and of those wines within our range. Customer interest in the finest range has been growing, so I think it's a great time to talk to customers about the range. I also think we've been on a bit of a journey with the Tesco wine range. We've simplified it over the last year, and we've, it gives us a great opportunity to now talk about the fantastic range that we have. If you to ask me how the finest brand's evolving today, I think the way I would describe it to you is I think what we've realized is that we need to understand how the brand relates to the rest of the hierarchy within Tesco. So we have our value entry tier, we have our core, and we have our finest. And I think our challenge is, whilst customers are aware of the fact that finest exists, and they know it's our, our sort of our best brand in terms of quality in innovation and provenance, what we really need to do is we need to start to um, I guess amplify the experience of the brand for customers. So what we try and look at is, is, is when we're looking at the finest brand and when we're starting to articulate the finest brand is we want it to really embody ex experience, discovery and uh, expertise. And if we can try to deliver those, whether it's through a pop-up like this or whether it's through any other amplification, that's at the heart of what we're trying to communicate. One of the problems we have with WWF is most of our work is a long way away, it's on the other side of the world, and so people don't really connect particularly well with our work sometimes. So people love animals, etc., but they don't really understand the work on the ground. So the idea of virtual reality is to bring the work to them rather than the other way around.